Today's objective is to evaluate a piecewise function. A piecewise function has some parameters set up to it. For example, f of x equals something. And here are the conditions for it. f of x equals 2x squared minus 3 if x is less than negative 2 f of x equals negative 4 x plus 5 if negative 2 is less than or equal to x and x is less than or equal to 6 in other words x is between those two numbers and f of x equals 2 times the quantity x minus 2 if x is greater than 6 so the problem is this find f of negative 4. Well, f of negative 4 must fall into one of those three categories. Which function, 1, 2, or 3, in order, top to bottom, would we use to evaluate f of negative 4? Is negative 4 between negative 2 and positive 6? No. No, it is not. That's right, it would be 2x squared minus 3 because negative 4 is <clears throat> less than negative 2. So we would have 2 times x squared, which is going to be the quantity squared of negative 4, and then minus 3. Quantity squared of negative 4 is 16, and then multiply 2 times 16 to get 32. 32 minus 3 is going to be 29. Now, in some of these problems, you can have more than one function to evaluate. For example, from the same set of parameters, you could also find f of 3. So f of 3 would pertain to which function? The first, the second, or the third one? Second. It would pertain to the second one because 3 is between negative 2 and 6. So you would be doing negative 4x plus 5 negative 4 times 3 plus 5. That is negative 12 plus 5, which is a negative 7. Here is another piecewise function. And this one is f of x equals negative x squared minus 3 if x is less than 3. And 3x three squared minus 2x plus 2 if x is between 3 and 10. Also negative 5x squared plus 2x if x is greater than 10. The problems we want to evaluate here are f of negative 2 f of 12 and f of 7. So we'll start with f of negative 2. Which, which function are we going to use for f of negative 2? The first one because negative 2 is less than 3. So f of negative 2 is negative quantity squared of negative 2 minus 3. That's a negative 4 minus 3, which is a negative 7. The next one we'll do is f of 12. Which function would I use for f of 12? The third one, because 12 is greater than 10. So negative 5 times 12 squared plus 2 times 12. That's a negative 5 times 144, and then plus 24. A negative 5 times 144 is a negative 720. And if I add 24 to that, I'll have a negative 696. The next problem is f of 7. Which function would I use for f of 7? 
the second one because it's between 3 and 10. And that one is 3x squared minus 2x plus 2. 3x squared minus 2x plus 2. And if we put in the 7, we'll come back with 3 times 7 squared minus 2 times 7 plus 2. So that's 3 times 49 minus 14 plus 2. 3 times 49 is 147. If I take away 14 from that, it's 133. And if I add 2, I get 135. On this problem, we are going to start with f of negative 6. And f of negative 6 would fall into this function because it's less than negative 4. So f of negative 6 equals a negative 6 times negative 6 minus 7, which is 36 minus 7. 36 minus 7 is 29. And then for f of 2, 2 falls into this category here because it's greater than 0. So a negative quantity of 2 minus 3, that's a negative negative 1. So the answer is 1.